Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to be sharing with you four DIY crafts that you can make when you're bored or you could also make these with a friend. Plus, all of these DIYs make really cute gifts. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as my second channel if you aren't already. And now without further ado, let's get started. For this first DIY, I'm going to be making a Starbucks candle. So you're going to need candle wax. I just took a regular pillar candle that I got from the dollar store and I broke it into small little pieces. I'm putting that in a bowl and then I'm just going to take a little piece of a green crayon and add a little bit of that. This is going to give the candle a bit of a color and then you just want to melt that in a microwave or on a double boiler. And then you're going to need a paper cup and you want to pour the wax into it. You do want to make sure that you use a paper cup because the wax isn't going to stick onto it. I'm placing a candle wick in the center and then I'm going to use a popsicle stick to make sure that it stays in place. You want to let that set. While that is setting, you can go ahead and take a little bit of wax and melt that. Now the key here is to start mixing it as soon as it starts to get solid again. This way it's going to kind of get this coconut like texture. I think it really looks like coconut. So it is at the point where it's not completely 100% solid yet. And then you can just go ahead and put that on top of the green wax, kind of in a whipped cream like shape. Then you want to let this set and I usually like to put my candles in the refrigerator for about an hour. Then I took my X-Acto knife and I kind of cut it a little bit. Now I'm just ripping off the paper cup. So if you want to burn the candle, you could stop right here, but if you want to keep the candle more as decoration, then you can add in the Starbucks logo. And then if you want to go a step further, you can also add in a cute face like I did. By the way, I am using acrylic paint for this. So this candle isn't really meant to be burnt. But because I wanted to take a really pretty shot, I thought I would just burn it for 5 seconds. And here is the completed candle. Next up, I'm going to be making a super cute popsicle keychain. So I'm using polymer clay and I'm kind of shaping this into a popsicle. I don't really know how to explain shapes well, so bear with me. And then I'm just going to take my blade and cut off the bottom part so that it's completely flat. You do want this to have a very rounded like shape like a normal popsicle would have. So I just did that using my fingers. For the stick, I used some beige polymer clay and I'm again making it into a super rounded like shape. And then I'm just going to cut off the bottom part or the top part actually. So I'm just attaching that to the popsicle. You can also use a little bit of translucent liquid clay if you want to make sure that the stick stays in place. Using black, I'm adding on the face. You can also use acrylic paint if you don't want to use polymer clay for the face. Now I'm going in with some translucent liquid clay and I'm going to just pour that. Then I took some chalk pastels and I'm going to add that. You can also use brown acrylic paint. It will definitely have a different finish to it but if you don't have chalk pastels, that works just as fine. I'm going to insert an eye pin and I'm not putting it all the way through as you can see. I put the eye pin inside because I wanted to kind of have a grip when I'm putting the chocolate on top. Now you can let that bake in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm taking out the eye pin and I'm going to cut it and put it back in. I did also apply a little bit of glue to keep it in place. I'm adding on the blush and then I'm going to seal that in with some female gloss varnish. And that is pretty much it. You can turn these into keychains or necklaces depending on however you want them to be. For the next DIY, I'm making a donut clay bowl. For this one, you're going to need air dry clay. So I'm going to go ahead and roll that out. I place two popsicle sticks on the side to make sure that I get an even thickness. Mm -hmm. 
Next, using a bowl, I'm going to cut out a pretty big circle. And I also used an X-Acto knife because that really helps with the cutting. Then I have this bowl, which is filled with slime. And I'm going to put the clay on top. So it's kind of going to help it give that round bowl-like shape. Because we're using air dry clay, you of course want to let this air dry. If you can't wait on that, you could totally use polymer clay as well. Bake it in the oven and you'll have a perfect bowl in 15 minutes. Using acrylic paint, I'm painting on the donut. I started with some beige and I'm going to paint the outer rim. Then I went in with a bright pink for the icing. Using yellow, green, pink, blue, purple, and white, I'm going to add on the sprinkles. Don't forget to seal in the paint with a layer of Mod Podge and that is pretty much it! For the final DIY, I'm making a very adorable plush. So I have some fleece fabric right here and I folded that in half. I made this template, it's kind of like an egg shape type thing. It does not have to be perfect at all. I made it very randomly. I put that on top of the fabric and I'm going to trace that out. Now you can go ahead with your needle and thread and start sewing it. I wouldn't really recommend using a hot glue gun for this because it wouldn't really be as sturdy, but I mean, you could probably also use hot glue for this. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just sewing it together. It took literally like 10 minutes. I forgot to mention, but you want to leave a little bit of an opening so that you can turn the fabric inside out. I'm going in with my pair of scissors and I'm going to cut off all of the extra fabric. Using some yellow felt, I'm going to make the egg yolk. So I took this candle holder and I drew a circle. Then I'm going in with my pair of scissors and I'm going to cut that out. Now you can use a hot glue gun and just stick the egg yolk on top. Using acrylic paint, I'm going to add on a cute face. To bring this to life, you're going to need some pillow stuffing. You could also use pillow stuffing from an old pillow that you may have. So yeah, I'm going to stuff the plush with it. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and close down the opening. That is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know in a comment which DIY was your favorite. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. I love you so much and I will see you in my next one.